Hello, I'm Chris Pope, and I'm from the 60secondtechnology.com and techjives.net websites. Uh, this is a series of quick explanations and tutorials that we do to try to explain a technology that can be difficult to understand in 60 seconds or less. We are sponsored by the computer certification training company known as CED Solutions. If you go to cedsolutions.com, you sign up for a computer training class, mention the name 60 Second Technology, and you can get $100 off the cost of your class. Without further ado, let's get moving. The topic we're going over is what is Web 1.0? Starting the timer now. Web 1.0 was officially released in 1991 with the release of www, at least that's when the term you can say came out, based on that web browser. The um, Following that, in 2001, we had the dot-com burst, in which, at that point, we started moving into what we call the Web 2.0 phase, or officially, they'll say, in 2004, is what most people agree on. In Web 1.0, web pages were mainly static, static HTML pages that didn't really do a whole lot other than display text. You could do video links, some pictures. Uh, a lot of the websites uh, based things on frames where you split the website into different sections. Unfortunately, this became a security risk. Dynamic content web pages can interact with each other, stream video, audio, uh, and interact with data as well as databases. Um, you also have things like animated GIFs and things like that that were very common, as well as a lot of your guest books and, and stuff like that that people would exploit. All right. Hope everybody got something out of that very, very fast tutorial or quick explanation. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash the Chris Pope. Thanks a lot.